Check one, two, and welcome to the Hypersoul Gaming Channel. This is Hypersoul speaking. I hope you enjoyed all of my videos. This is an unboxing video of the Curris NF electric scooter made in Korea. It was shipped via FedEx from California to New Jersey in a big old cardboard box weighing about 107 pounds. There was some minor damage to the box. You know, as usual, I don't expect the box to be in perfect shape, but there was some damage to it nonetheless. Here is me cutting open the box with a very sharp razor blade. Do not try this at home. Please hire a professional to take a razor blade and cut the box open for you. As for me, I have tons of experience in terms of cutting boxes open with a razor blade. But if this is your first time doing it, please be careful. Who am I? Who, you know, I'm just kidding around. Who am I kidding around? I hate unboxing videos with a passion and I'll tell you why. It's because I simply hate it. But when it comes to purchasing something um, this expensive, I think an unboxing video is called for. I'm sure you were paying attention to all the visuals right in front of you when the box was being opened. Of course, the package is inside of it like so with the cellophane, plastic wraps, um, cardboard reinforcements, and styrofoam, and more styrofoam. There was more, there was like a lot of damage on the right hand side of the box, um, but there was no tampering involved when I did a visual inspect of the whole thing. When it comes to unwrapping and taking out the innards of the packaging, um, try to be aware of any types of um, loose bolts and whatnot. Oh, by the way, that's the free motion. Um, carrying pack I believe to attach to your scooter for carrying your paraphernalia. I will get to that later um, But like I said before when it comes to Unpacking the box be very careful That when you remove any types of um, reinforcements from it that you're not going to remove anything from the scooter by accident Be very careful when you lift the electric scooter out of the box maintain a two-hand grip because this thing weighs a ton um, I think it's like 95 pounds to be exact if you have a person to help you out please take advantage of that person's help and please be sure they have a, um, a proper physical examination from a doctor to do so and a very strong back my wife is holding the camera here so nobody was there to help me um, my kids are too young to help me out so um, I wouldn't want to risk their lives in terms of lifting up this scooter. And now let us proceed to a camera visual pan inspection, side inspection thing of the scooter. There is a, um, you know, nothing wrong with it. Just want to show you what to expect. Um, the wheels look brand new because it has the red mark on it. Frunch, frunch. There I go again with the word frunch. You know, seriously, this this was the third take of me of me trying to say the word front, but instead I said the word frunch. Here is the frunch suspension, the locking joint, the stem with all the bolts and whatnot, and all the proper all, all the proper. There I go. All the proper. I said proper instead of proper. All the proper doodads and whatnot on the scooter. Now we're going into a little cutscene with the um, free motion carrying case that you attach to the stem of the scooter for carrying all your weapons and paraphernalia. I believe you can carry a pair of jeans here if you can roll them tight enough. Very roomy. Next is the cardboard box containing my little cardboard keys <laughs> and the Allen key um, wrench set. Those cardboard keys are quite durable. Um, I ended up buying a pair of, um, not a pair, but a set of Allen key wrenches for Walmart. But not, but I wasn't even aware that it came with an actual set. So there you go. I ended up returning the set um, of Walmart keys back to Walmart. And coming up next, I removed the rear mud guard. That is the um, locking cover plate for the handlebars at the top of the stem that's the charging cable and the rear mud guard frame for attaching the rear mud guard over the back wheel it comes with the proper bolts that is the white box that contains the official charger when you have to recharge your scooter from zero to hundred percent 
It has a little weight to it, so be very careful, you know, be very careful with the connections with it. That's the box, it's garbage now. Oh, there you go. That's the gang tattoos, the Curtis NF gang tattoos. And this is what happens. This is, this is how I'm going to handle my tattoos. So I'm going to put it right there on my forearm to let all those other electric scooter riders know that I'm from the Curtis NF gang. Yeah! That's the Apple remote. <laughs> That's not part of the package. But come supplied inside the box is the um, rear mudguard instructions for applying the rear mudguard onto the rear wheel. It's very easy. That's the official user's manual. And next we're going to put the stem in the upright position because we need to start handling the handlebars. Make sure you take your locking pin and depress the locking pin balls. It's kind of like this, there's these little bearing balls that prevent it from going in. So once you release it, um, you, you can be able to stick the pin inside the actual um, area where the yellow label's at to lock the stem in the upright position. It's very secure. Um, I'm about six foot one and the top of the stem is literally above my belly button height as if my belly button has a height to it, but that's how high it is compared to my size. So uh, so it's a very nice um, big scooter for, for my size considering, you know. Next we have the um, unwrapping of the handlebars. And um, it, it, it comes very loose and it comes loose and still attached to the brake line. So you wanna you want be very careful and wary that you don't pull too hard on the brake lines and, and mess something up. Um, the brake lines are, are filled with um, the appropriate fluid. I believe it's mineral oil, similar to hydraulic mountain bike brakes. So, um, you know, if you break a line, believe me, you're gonna run into some big problems um, refilling the reservoirs with mineral fluid and re-bleeding the brakes. Now I am taking the handlebars and putting them in the out position and be very careful with handling the front coupling units to hold the handlebars in the outright position because it might pinch your hand. Um, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, there is the Mini Motors EYE um, throttle and display. That's the center of the handlebars and that's the horn and light with the um, single to dual motor switch. When it comes to adjusting the handlebars with the um, face plate to secure the handlebars, I like putting it like let's say a notch, one notch up. So the handlebars are not rubbing up against any other type of metal on the um, handlebar assembly. Just be very careful when it comes to the alignments of the face plates. I used my third hand to hold that in place while I took my other two hands and got hold of the bolts to secure the face plates. Um, I'm just kidding around, that's not my third hand. That's my wife's hand who was holding the camera. But when it comes to threading the bolts properly into the, um, the holes, through the face plate of the handlebar holder or whatever you want to call it. Um, be very careful not to thread the bolts, you know, carelessly. And if, if you do it without keeping in mind that if it's not going to fit through very nicely, um, you just might ruin the thread and you're just going to have to take a pain in the butt trip to Home Depot to look for the proper screw to fit in there. But once you have it in there, it's easy to screw it in there with your fingers and then tighten it up with the appropriate Allen key wrench. Now I'm going to take my Curtis NF electric scooter Allen key wrench set and tighten up all the bolts. It, it kind of like similar to the way you will tighten up the, the bolts on a, um, on a tire on your car. Um, you don't want to go full blown tight on each one. Just pretty much, you know, have the bolt meet up to the faceplate and then have an even torque on all the bolts as you proceed to tighten the faceplate. You don't want to overdo it, but you can kind of like tell that you went to the point 
where the threshold of the screw stops. I don't know the exact pounds per pressure, but you can give it you can have a gauge on how much it is. Um, my hands are pretty big when it comes to grabbing handlebars and, and, and readjusting um, um, you know the little gadgets and whatnot on the handlebars. I like having the LCD, LCD display a little bit lower than usual because while riding long distances, you know, even, or even short distances, you want to keep it, you know, um, ergonomic to your hand. And here I'm actually practicing with the actual um, throttle with my motorcycle glove on to make sure you have the proper feel. And once you're satisfied with your whole setup, after the unboxing, please do a double check. Uh, let's say a double safety check on all the components of your scooter. You will enjoy the scooter, believe me. Um, but other than that, I'm not going to say, you know, like, share, subscribe, or whatever, you know. I hope you enjoyed the video. If not, so what?